Hello. In this lecture, we will be discussing about instruction decoding. So, so far we have discussed about various uh, kinds of MIPS instructions and uh, how do they uh, help in uh, bridging the interface between uh, a programmer and the uh, processor. So, in this lecture, we'll try to understand how these instructions are decoded and before that, what's the need of instruction decoding. So let's start with uh, the question why we need instruction decoding. So if you have looked at the previous uh, two weeks contained, we have discussed about a stored program concept where the instructions are stored inside memory. Based on the content of the program counter, uh, the instruction will be loaded from the memory into the processor. So if you also remember, we have discussed about the instruction size in MIPS, which are of 32-bit size. That's where we are jumping uh, in, in, with an offset of 4 uh, when we are executing instructions. So at this moment, we can assume that as a processor, we have received a 32-bit instruction from the memory, but we don't know what to do with this 32 bits. So these are just sequence of zeros and ones of length 32 bits, right? So to infer or to understand what exactly to be performed with this 32 bits, we need a decoder, which can decode the various bits and tell the processor, okay, these are the ALU operations, these are the load instructions, these are the branch instructions, or uh, this is just a simple register operation, right? So let's start with a simple example before going into the generic instruction encoding decoding that is provided by MIPS. So in this slide, I'm showing a simple example that uses a uh, immediate uh, operand, which is a 16-bit constant, if you remember. So to represent 16-bit constant, you need 16 bits, that is 0 to 15. And uh, it also uses registers. As we know, MIPS has 32 registers, so it will use 5 bits. Okay. And the rest six bits, it uses to define an operation. So the upper uh, six bits is also known as the upcode, which defines the operation uh, that this instruction will perform, right? So if you look at uh, the instruction decoding or encoding format here, it specifies what is the operation, where exactly the operands are. Right, pretty simple for this particular uh, instruction. So uh, let's move on to the generic format that MIPS provides. What MIPS provides is the following, the of code, which will define the operation. Registers, if you are using any, including the destination registers. And a bit of a logical operation, if you are doing left shift, right shift, to how many bits you want to shift. There is a curious field here, which is known as the functionality field. We'll go into that uh, in detail. Uh, but for the time being, uh, let's assume we have this additional field called functional functionality field on top of the opcode field. We will see its utility later. So let, let's look at few instructions that we have seen so far. So. In this table, I am showing uh, various kinds of instructions. Some of them are register type, which uses registers for uh, performing operation, right? One thing that you can see here is the opcode is same for both addition and subtraction, right? But the functionality field has two different values which means when the processor receives this 32-bit instruction, the upcode for both addition and subtraction will be same, but this lower bits which denotes the functionality will tell you whether to do addition or uh, subtraction, right? Of course, uh, there is no shift amount here, right? So is this a good design or not? Uh, we'll see it in a few uh, minutes, but most of the time, the good a good design demands good compromises, right? So if you look at what is good about this design, the good thing is 
all the instructions look similar or they use similar fields for example upcode is part of all the instruction even for the load even for a uh, immediate instruction right the i type kind of instructions and at the same time you will find the lower 16 bits are not used by the i type instructions because uh, the lower 16 bits will be either replaced by a constant or by an address which will be a memory address from which the data will be brought into the processor right and for the register type instruction address field becomes not applicable right so depending on the opcode field the processor will know how to treat these last three fields whether it will be a single field denoting a constant or address or it's a combination of three fields denoting a register a bit of shift amount and uh, some functionality right but still we didn't answer why we are using this functionality so let's let's get into that so this is a summary of all kinds of instruction that we will see some register type some immediate type that includes uh, loads and uh, stores and some uh, branch type instruction that includes jumps right so in all these cases the upper six bits are the same right it denotes the operation if you look at the r type and i type even the upper 16 bits are the same i'm not saying the content of those 16 bits are same i'm saying the formatting is same okay the lower 16 bits differ in terms of the fields whether it's a single field or three field that will be determined by the upcore as we discussed in the previous slide right so now if we remove this uh, functionality field okay and uh, which is a six feet uh, six bit uh, field and add it with this upcode field which is also a six bit field right so that means this will become a 12 bit field that means it can denote 2 to the 12 operations right but MIF doesn't include uh, a 12 bit upcode instead it goes for simplicity so that all kinds of instructions will have the upper six bits denoting the upcode right so it makes the life of the processor especially the decoder simple the moment it receives an instruction from the memory it just extracts the upper six bits that will tell you what to do right yeah if it is the r type instruction register type along with the upcode you have to look at for the functionality bits but separating the functionality bit completely it makes sure that the upper bits look similar or the same that's the beauty of uh, this particular isa so the compromise here is all the instructions are of fixed length 32 bits right irrespective of operations no matter what you do uh, it's the length is 32 bit 4 byte instruction the fields are at the same or almost the same location right we have already seen it the upcode uh, remains at the upper six bits then few bits for the register and then the lower bits are used either for the constants or the address or for uh, the logical operation along with the register or the functionality right all formats look similar this makes the design uh, pretty simple right so this is a good compromise and at the same time it's a good design thank you